Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Did you see Huffman strike with the knife at Mike? I did. Cross-examination of prosecution witnesses in the Ledger County murder trial of James Huffman IV is beginning to wind down. Samantha Mullins, who was the designated driver for Michael Hogg on New Year's Day 2014, when he was allegedly stabbed to death by Huffman, said Huffman appeared to target Michael Hogg in the alleged stabbing. Because that part of it was like, almost like the traumatizing part of it to me because of like the way I watched Mike die and it just stuck out my mind so much. I remember telling the police like, out of everybody, he was just, I don't remember how I worded it. Um, but I remember saying that like he was just at mine. Mullins testified that she didn't see Michael Hogg get stabbed by James Huffman. She became emotional though when she said she did see Huffman pull a knife following what she described as a friendly conversation between Huffman and Patrick Smith and Hogg's party. He went from saying like we don't have to fight to um, screaming about the knife. And what did Huffman do as Mike was saying, we don't have to fight? He started swinging at him. Swinging at who? Um, I couldn't tell me. Uh, well, it looked like it was towards Mike, but they were all standing pretty close together. So I couldn't tell. They were just in a group. Um, I just seen them start swinging at the knife when Mike was telling him to calm down. Some of Mullins' recounting of the events differed from previous accounts by previous witnesses, including another of James Huffman's alleged victims, Christopher Puckett. She did, however, repeat details from Puckett's testimony that the exchanges between Huffman and Hogg's party were cordial leading up to the stabbing, and that James Huffman sucker punched Puckett prior to the stabbing. They were all getting along. Like I said, I thought they were actually, like, making friends a little bit back there. Following a lunch break in Thursday's proceedings, the defense in the case was set to cross-examine Mullins. A member of Michael Hogg's family said Mullins is one of the last witnesses expected to be called by the prosecution. In Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, EKB News.